channel bare face i have a bare face oh it's early as hell actually it's 12 p.m i recently just woke up i woke up and then i went to starbucks and then i came back i realized i haven't really done like get ready with me's on this channel and the reason is because like y'all don't care like like there's no other reason like, you guys just don't care whenever i film get ready with me's like they like barely get any views and like people never ask me to like do a get ready with me so i'm like they don't care right so i don't make them i make vlogs but then I've gotten like a few people tell me that they want me to make some. So I was like, all right, I'll make one because I haven't made any in a while. And since I'm going out for my birthday dinner, I was like, what better get ready with me than get ready for my 17th That you, um, get ready with me for my 17th birthday dinner. My birthday is actually on Saturday and today is Monday. But I'm having this birthday dinner with my friends because I'm going to be leaving for my birthday. I'm traveling. So I have to celebrate with my friends like beforehand, right? My skin is not thriving right now because according to my calculations, chocolate breaks me out. Like I came to that conclusion. All right, anyways, this, you'd think I would have learned from the first time, right? But it happened to me again because you guys are freaking amazing and you got me to the milestone way before I would have ever imagined. So I hit 300K yesterday. If two plus two was four. The day before yesterday, um, I hit it on Saturday, um, and I didn't think I was going to hit 300k till my birthday, which is this next Saturday. But I should have known my calculations are off. Like, at this point, I should have known, right? I didn't. So, I calculated that, you know, I was going to film, because, you know, for those of you who have been following me for, like, a bit, you know that whenever I hit a milestone, I like to, you know do a like a special of something so like i'll make like a special video that's either been requested a lot or like like a special video right so for my i did a house tour for i don't remember what the house tour video was celebrating um but that video was really really like asked for so i ended up doing the house tour for a milestone and then i did um i did a special like party for my 100k and then for my 200k was like the remodeling my room which was really asked for and for my 300k i was supposed to do um this video that i'm gonna end up posting around friday or saturday on my birthday one of those days um that you guys have really like i feel like it's an you guys haven't asked for this video but it's an exciting video right it's different it's a change it's gonna be a good video so and i'm spending a lot of money on that video but i thought i was gonna be able to post that video why when i hit 300k but you guys are amazing and you got me there beforehand anyways i got a pumpkin bread i've never tried pumpkin bread from starbucks so we're about to see how good it is or how not good it is wait why is that fire though see i don't remember. my favorite bread is banana bread but i think this is either in my second or ties to banana bread this is fire Okay, so I found a new method to do my eyebrows, and I posted a picture of it. I'll insert the picture right here, where I did, like, my eyebrows. You guys really like them, so I think, I think I found a new method to do my eyebrows so you guys won't hate them. So I used the Brow Microfilling Pen from Benefit and the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia, and they make a pretty good combo. So I brushed my eyebrows with the gel before I put the pomade on, and I know that's weird, but it works, trust me. Well, actually, I haven't tried it without doing the brow gel first. Should I try it? No, I shouldn't because I already know how it works without with it on. All right, so you brush your eyebrow in the, like, shape you want to fill it into. Okay, so now that I have it into my shape, I grab the microfilling pen. Oh, this is in medium brown. And then I just draw, like, little lines. Like, th there's really not much to it. You just draw little lines. You're just supposed to make them look really full. This gives you, like, a really natural but, like, full eyebrow look. It's cute. Okay, so it's kind of full right there, and then I like to go back with the brow gel and like kind of like blend everything together, if that makes any sense. And it gives you like a super cute blended brow. Okay, and if you think it's starting to look really weird and like patchy, okay, so I go in with my concealer like right after. Even if it looks patchy still, I like going in with my concealer, like fixing it, and then going back in with my brow thingy. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done with my eyebrows because this is going to take a really, really, really long time. All right, so I just finished my brows, and I still need to go back in and fill because there's, like, the real piece still a little bit patchy. But I need to let, like, the um, Anastasia thingy, the brow gel, set a little bit more because if not, it doesn't let me go in and fill the patchiness. And, like, up here, you guys can see it's, like, patchy, and I need to go fix all of that. But I need to let what's, like, the base of my eyebrows dry first, and then I go back in. That's basically my little routine. But I need to go wet my beauty blender. 
All right, but we're gonna continue. I'm gonna just do my wrist my makeup, and then I'll come back to my brows like at the very end. That's what I did last time, and it came out good. But today probably could be an exception. I hope they come out good though. Okay, how are you doing on online school? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you, Alexandra. Um, okay, so this is actually a really good topic that I really wanted to touch on. By the way, I'm using the professional primer. So let me touch on this topic a little bit. Online school is a lot easier to manage than regular school, right? Like it just is. Like the fact that you're not in school is just so much more freedom than home, right? Like it's like it's a lot more freedom if I'm saying anything. Cause like at home, I could choose not to join Zoom and I won't join the Zoom. You know what I mean? And at school, like I can't just choose not to go to school. Like my mom will beat my ass on the spot. And like another thing is through online you could like it's just easier, right? You have more wiggle room through online than through like going to actual school, right? Okay, I put my hair down because it was looking giving me a headache. I feel like for me, it obviously was like the best thing, like getting online school and all. And I think it's cool, but it kind of sucks how you are required to kind of like learn the same way you learn at school, yet it's not the same as at school because at school, obviously, you get a lot more like it's just different, all right? It's different. Breakout rooms are awkward as hell, and it's not like real groups in person, right? So it's like. I don't know it's it's whatever i like it better than normal school and i'm doing fine in it i guess at the same time with the whole f like wiggle room stuff with a lot of freedom also isn't good at all because then i don't be doing my assignments but so far i'm doing good it just i don't know online school or real school both would have been really tricky for me because since i have youtube i can't give my 100 percent to youtube and my 100 percent to school like i have to prioritize one in order to succeed in the other and it sucks because like obviously I want to prioritize school because it's like my future But I also want to prioritize YouTube because like I have you guys that want videos, right? So it sucks. So either I like half-ass YouTube and I do good in school or I half-ass school and I do good in YouTube But there's no like I can't do good in both. It, it's really hard. There's no there's not enough hours in the day to do that I think that was like way out of what the question actually asked, but I just had to say that. That's why for a lot of people who are starting YouTube, it's always better to start YouTube like in the summer when you don't have like school. You just can't give your 100% to both. It's way too hard. What's your dream vacation? Okay, so I'm going to give you guys like two answers to this because I... I have two answers to this. For a couple's vacation, Bora Bora. I've always wanted to go to Bora Bora, but I think I'm going to do that for like my honeymoon or something i don't know or like if any of you guys want to take me to bora bora i wouldn't be mad <laughs> um bora bora sounds like somewhere cool to go with like a significant other um i really want to go to alaska though i don't know why i was just seeing like a bunch of people like who went to alaska and it's so pretty and i'm like i'm looking trying to go to alaska and i know it's like freezing and i do not do good with the cold bro i will freeze like my i'll freeze all right i'll freeze so you, but I don't know, for some reason I just really want to go to Alaska. It sounds like somewhere really fun to go to. So I want to go to Alaska probably like with my family. Like that would be really cool to go to Alaska with my family. Also because like imagine exploring like the like Alaska mountains and like all that crap by myself, bro. I would, no. I would rather do it with like my dad or something. And then with like my friends, like I would love to go to like Cancun. That sounds so fun. Um, I'm using the shape tape for concealer under my eyes, by the way. The concealer I use for my eyebrows is different from the one I put in my face. So the one I put in my face is the shape tape right here. And the one I put in my eye, like for my eyebrows, is the Fit Me by Maybelline. I just think this one is really thick to do your eyebrows. Like I don't really like how, and it sets really fast. So I don't really have like wiggle room with it. And it's like hella full coverage. Like my eye, my under eyebrow does not need something so full of coverage. Someone said, uh, least favorite makeup thing to put on. My eyebrows, just because like I'm not good at them. So like. It's dreadful every single time I have to do it. It sucks. Since it has been 200 degrees here in California, like, I and I've been, like, in the sun a lot, especially because my parents have been, like, wanting to be outside for some reason. Like, they never want to go outside, but suddenly when it's 300 degrees in California, they're trying to go outside. Like, we made tamales yesterday. Like, sis, we were out there in that 400 degree weather. So I've been, like, so I've been getting really tan. I don't... I know you guys can't tell, but I can tell because of my foundation and concealer, like the way that they don't match my color anymore. 
I, I've noticed, but I don't even want to change because literally it's already going to start to get cold anyway. So like, you know, or is September still hot? I that is very much adequate. I don't remember. I think this year has just been like the hottest year I've ever experienced. I went into my sister's room right now and she was on Zoom, but I didn't know she was on Zoom and I, I didn't know she had her camera on. And so I walked in there like it was my house, which it is my house, but I walked in there and I was talking to her and she was like, they couldn't see you. And I was like, and I know some of her, my sister's like classmates watch me on YouTube. So like, I saw this girl comment on my video the other day and she was saying like some stuff that you wouldn't know. Like the average person wouldn't know unless you know my sister. Mm. And I was like, wait a minute. And then I showed my sister and she's like, oh yeah, that girl goes, that girl is in my class or went to my school or something like that. And I was like, oh i didn't know her like friends went to i didn't know her friends like watched my videos dang i kind of miss doing get ready with me's i think like when i started my youtube channel at the beginning like i did a little bit more get ready with me's but y'all basically just said we don't care so then i stopped doing them i was looking at some of my old videos i'm a whole different v like and i know you can't really tell i'm not really talking about looks which looks is a big one too but like the person i was is like so so you can't, you could probably tell in my videos a little bit, but I'm talking about like the person who I felt I was. Like I feel way different than how I felt back then. On a positive note, like not, not. By the way, you guys have literally filled my drawer with lashes now because you guys are always sending me lashes on my peel box. So I don't know if you guys are, for the real ones who saw my, like when I got my vanity, it was like my room decorating part one. I had no, I think I had like two pairs of lashes and now it's like full where you guys all sent me lashes. So thank you so much. I'm going to contour. I use the Fenty Beauty, the little stick, contour stick. It's in the shade Mocha. Period. What kind of eye color do you have? I think a lot of people tell me it's hazel. It's like, I don't know, my eye just always changes. It goes from like brown to light brown to green to back to brown. I don't know. It's so hazel, basically. I don't know. I think it just depends. Like in the sun, my eye will look extremely green. And then like when it's not in the sun, it'll look like light brown. So yeah, I don't know. What is your favorite mascara brand? I love this mascara and it's from Maybelline. It's the Lash Sensational. Bro, it's never gonna focus. But it's the Lash, Sens the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline is bomb. So I would say they are pretty good. You could live anywhere where would that be and why you're so pretty thank you uh i don't know i think it would probably be i really like california like i i don't think i would move out of state but i think i would like to have like a second home in texas just because i don't know texas sounds cool like if i wasn't living in california i would probably be living in texas like that's probably where i would lean towards there's a lot of hispanic people in like texas like I, whenever i see like uh like some like super like hispanic like tiktok or somewhere like a guy it's always either like california or texas like they're always in like those two places for some reason um so i think texas would be pretty cool to live at that would, that would probably be like my second choice to where i would want to live because i can't really think of any other place where i would truly like want to live you know what makes you angry by the way i love you thank you uh my siblings how did you get your YouTube channel to grow? Where do you start? Um, so there's not really like a secret formula that you can use to make your YouTube channel grow. To be honest, the way that it works is like, you need to put one good video out there. You need to put, not one good video, you need all your videos need to be good, right? But you need to, at least one good video to get recommended and like if people like that video then what youtube does is like it kind of sees that people are liking your videos so then they'll be like hey like this channel might be good so then they'll recommend another one and another one and from there like if your videos are good the people who did click on the video will like like them and subscribe and like when your channel's having activity like that youtube just recommends it and recommends it and you grow obviously it's not an overnight growth i'm talking about like it takes a while right but that's kind of like what happens because like if you're putting out quantity over quality it's not gonna happen because let's say one of your videos does blow up but it's not good because you were just trying to post and post and post then the people who clicked on that video aren't gonna like your video and they're not going to stay watching the video and it just so 
yeah i would just say make really really good videos also be consistent but make sure that your videos are good the ones that you're putting out are good and you will get very good results out of that have you ever wondered what would have happened in the life if you didn't start youtube definitely like i am curious to like what i would be doing with my life if it wasn't youtube because i i've said this in other videos before but i always felt like when i was like growing up i low key always felt like i was out of place because like there was people who would be doing sports people who could sing people who could dance like there was everybody had their thing right but i never had a thing so it was like I low-key felt really out of place, so then like when I started doing YouTube, like it just felt like that was where I belonged type thing, like that was my like place. So once I figured that out, it was just really cool. Like and if I wouldn't have YouTube, I feel like I would just be in the same, like trying to figure out what was my thing. And also like when I when you when I started doing YouTube, like when YouTube started like working out for me, um Another thing I figured out was like what I wanted to do as a career and like it kind of felt like everything was like low-key falling into place. Now lie! Now lie! Also, I have no idea how to contour. So if someone Ah, and you're done ignoring me. Ignoring you? Yeah, I called you like 30 times. No, like I screamed. Like I said, like, now lie. When? Like right now. Well, then why'd you come into my room? Like, Were you popular at school because of YouTube? Okay, so this is actually a really funny answer because I was not like popping on YouTube when... I, not like I'm popping on YouTube right now, but I wasn't really known on YouTube when I was at school because we left school at around March, right? Yeah, I think it was like March when we left school. And I probably had maybe like 50K. I'm, I'm gonna guess because I hit 100K in april but no now though now like as of right like now like there's i'll check something like i don't really like notice when like someone from my school follows me like it's not something that i like check but like the other day i don't know why i was like curious and i started checking and like people who i've never even talked to before like like are following me on there on like on instagram and that, i just think it's so weird because it's people who never talked to me at school or like any of that so, I don't know. Like, it, like literally, like, it's people who would never talk to me at school because I was not popular at all. If anything, I was, like, a lame kid at school. It's because high school is toxic. Literally, high school is the most toxic thing ever. Well, it was for me. Just because everyone is so, like, trying to be cool and popular, like, it's so irritating. And since I never really cared for that, I, I was just... What kind of aesthetic category do you think you're in? I don't think I'm in any aesthetic category. I literally am like the most basic person. Like I dress basic. Like I don't know why. Like I don't really like that style on me. Like I'm not really like a like a person who likes like a, like. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just I dress really basic. I mean I wear skinny jeans with Vans. So how long do you take to get ready? By the way, I love your channel and I hope it keeps going. Thank you, Zavala. Dot. Paloma usually like two and a half hours, but that's with hair and like without hair it takes me like Maybe like an hour and a half two if I'm doing like lashes. How did your hair get so long girl? I just didn't cut it like I have not cut my hair since December of 2018 So that's uh, like almost two years <laughs> I cut my hair in Mexico when I went for those I don't know if people are watching me who were fans of me back then but i cut my hair in mexico so december 2018 and then i just never cut it after that i actually got like a one inch trim when i got my hair done the other day but it was like nothing major so it like when you let your hair grow out for like two years it gets pretty long and also my hair grows really fast like look at my look at my roots do you want any piercings or tattoos in the future yes i want to, i don't want tattoos that, tattoos aren't really my thing but i definitely want piercings but i don't think mom would ever let me even if i'm old my mom still doesn't want me to get any piercings so i probably wouldn't just to like not piss her off even though it's like she can't really tell me at that point like when i'm older but i just don't want to piss her off so probably not um i don't know if i said it or not but the powder i use is from laura mercier my nose looks crooked because i did my lines crooked damn me Eh, whatever. Don't care. Still don't care. Name of your favorite show. All right, so in Spanish, I just your little cielos. In English, either Beauty and the Beast or the originals. Between those two. Are you talking to, dating, or simply looking for a relationship at the moment? 
Um, I'm not talking, I'm not dating. Um, and I'm not like going out there hunting for a relationship. If something happens, then it happens. That's just the way it works. This is from Milani in the shade 05. This is like my favorite brush of brush blush of all time. It's like the and it's really cheap too, so affordable. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna put on my lashes. This is my lead. I hate putting on lashes. Like, you won't catch me putting on lashes more than once a week. Like, I won't do it. I hate lashes. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know what lashes I want to wear. Do I want to be dramatic or do I want to be basic? I'm trying to decide. I just have so many lashes now that I'm able to kind of like pick. See, they're all really cute, but they're just really dramatic, and I don't know how I feel about wearing super dramatic lashes. Let me see how these would look. Do you consider yourself confident by the way I love you? I do. Now I do. I definitely think that has changed because I wasn't, but I now I, I truly think I am. The moment you stop comparing yourself is the moment you will, like, be confident. Oh, actually, these are not bad. I kind of like This girl has literally the cutest lashes ever. These are, uh, those are so cute. I'm going to wear these. She has really cute lashes. These are by, um, I'm always wearing her lashes. Literally, like, all the time. It's Drea's lashes. She sent me all the lashes you've seen me wear on my channel. Actually, no. Like, for the past, the lashes that I've been, like, wearing for my current Insta post, they're by her. She has just amazing freaking lashes. The only problem is that I have stupid dark duo glue, so it, like, if I mess up, it gets all over my lid, and it's Sucks. I hate when the lash goes like all on my eye like it feels so uncomfortable I'm gonna cut a little bit just cuz it's gonna feel really uncomfortable if I don't I already hate lashes and that makes me hate them even more No smoke towards like the lash actually yes yeah, smoke towards the lashes It's just irritating like they bother me. It could be me though It could be that I'm just putting them on wrong, but they bug for real I've been putting on mascara before I put on my lashes, but I've, been, I've seen like a bunch of people who don't do that. I've seen a bunch of people who put the mascara on after the lashes. So I don't know what the right way is, but I'm just going to do it after this time to so see what the difference is. Will you be making those waking up at 5 a.m. videos again? Um, I definitely want to just because like you guys really like those videos and I need to fix my sleeping schedule. I'd be going to sleep at like 1 in the morning and waking up at 11. It's really bad. So like when today's Monday, so I don't have Zoom classes on Monday, but like. I'll be waking up too late. If you had the chance to do something good for all the people near you, what would you do? Like my family, um, I would get my dad a new uh, car because my dad needs a new work truck, like really, really bad. Um, I would want to get my dad a new car. And that, it's. I know that it's just for my dad, but it would benefit all of us because obviously like my dad being able to have a good work car means that he's able to do more work jobs. So he would like, so it would like benefit all of us in the end. See, this is why I hate lashes. See? See what I mean? They always give me a hard time. I'm like, for what? Ugh, makes me so mad. How much was your car? So the price on my, like, on the, like, car was, I think it was like 25, 700 something? Or 26. I don't know. Somewhere either 25 or 10, I think it was like almost 26,000. It was like 25,000 with like 700, 800 something. Cause it's the RS, so like it was a little bit more expensive. Um, but then like plus the taxes, it went up. Like it was like plus the taxes and like all these fees that they add on. It ended up being like thirty one thousand. Yeah, cause with all the fees, it went up hella. And then like the um, and it's not just that though. It's like the like insurance fees were crazy too. Yeah, but I think my car, my car ended up going up to 31000 if I'm not mistaken. Wait, so then my car had to have been, like, more, right? I don't know, but in total, I paid 31000 It was more, it was, like, 31 something. Okay, that one was not as hard to put on. Actually, well, yeah, it, it only took me two tries, though. If the lash takes me more than three tries, then that's when I consider it hard. So, this one took me two tries. Let's go. And also, it might have been because I didn't, y'all see this difference? Lashes are a catfish, bro, for real. I hate lashes. And I stand by that. Update on your sister. Okay, I really wanted to talk about this a little bit because, okay, so. The video, actually, let me give you guys exact numbers just because I don't want anyone to be like, you're lying. Okay. So, I posted the COVID video 20 days ago. 
so that is over two weeks ago i the whole covid stuff happened around a week and a half before i posted the video it was like a week or a week and a half it, it was before so if we do the math <laughs> oh wait it's almost three weeks since i posted that video because 7 14 21 yeah it, it's almost three weeks the COVID, I, the that stuff happened like it was like i believe it was a week and a half before so that's over a month ago <laughs> my sister and ricardo both ended up testing negative a few days like after um they had tested positive right they are both okay it's been three weeks more than three weeks but since you guys saw it's been three weeks so they're fine both of them are fine they're both negative they're both chilling they're both out with us now um i was seeing because i was looking at the comments on their channel and people were saying that don't you guys have covid and no they don't have covid anymore this was a really long time ago um for you guys it's probably a little bit newer because i ended up posting the video after but for us this happened a while ago they ended up testing negative really really fast after they supposedly tested positive so both of them are good they've been good for a while now so that is why i was even able to do this birthday stuff because they ended up testing positive i mean negative a really long time ago also they ended up staying inside of their little quarantine a few days after they even tested negative <laughs> ended up putting on my second eyelash while i was gone because i was like my glue is drying out um this took me one try bro i'm so proud of myself uh, but now i need to put on my mascara i really like these lashes like i think these are probably like my favorite just because they're like they're cute i'm telling you guys this girl has really cute lashes also, I would like to say I'm really offended by the fact that a lot of you do not follow me on Instagram. Do I look like I give a Because I don't. If you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. So now that I, I also don't put mascara on my bottom lashes, and I know that triggers a lot of people, but when I put on mascara on my bottom lashes, it looks like I have spiders, like on my bottom lashes, and it's just not the move. Trust me. Tr if you knew how it looked, trust me, it is not cute at all. Also, um... It is 1.54 and I have to leave to go pick them up because it's two. I'm going with two of my friends. And I have to go pick them up at around like 2.50 and I need to curl my hair. So, you can see why I'm a little bit stressed out. Glow kit from Anastasia and then I use uh, Moonstone. I did go back and fix my eyebrows so they're a little bit more full now. And they look natural. That's what I liked about this little eyebrow like stuff is that it makes your eyelashes, I mean, your eyebrows look really natural. Like they don't, like they're not super dark. Like they make them look natural. And then they're really thin because that's like my actual shape. Okay, for my lips, I don't know what I want to do because I did red lipstick like two days ago. And then, but this is like a super like cream like color. I don't know, let me hold up. Let me try on this gloss from Morphe. Ew. <laughs> It doesn't go good with this look. It's just not, not the move, sis. It's like, wait, never mind. It's actually kind of cute. I was hating on it. It's not that bad. So I've never actually worn lip liner in my life. I'm, this is like me trying to become like some makeup expert. Um, I, you guys probably don't care, but I'm still gonna tell you just in case some people do care. Uh, the color is Sweetheart, and it's by Morphe lip liner. And then the lipstick is called uh, Cream. Or oh, wait, Flirt. It's Flirt, and this is by Morphe as well. I realize, yeah, this is not good at all. I don't recommend this. I mean, it was all the price was also not too high, but I mean, I'm just saying it's like not the best. You kind of get what you pay for, to be honest. And I'd be looking like a senora, bro, with these, with this lip liner. I all right, we're good. So now I have to curl my hair, but usually for my hair, it doesn't take me that that long, especially because. I'm only gonna do like waves, like cute little waves. I also probably should have gone to go clean my car, but I didn't. Just, just a little bit embarrassing. So I like, I got this as a birthday gift from Milk, and I like how it looks on my lips. It doesn't really work for your cheeks, but I like putting it on my lips, and it makes your lips really like rosy and it's cute. Oh, by the way, this is the lipstick I used for my Instagram picture. I don't know if you guys remember, but a lot of people were asking me. It's this Sephora, and it's in the shade Labby. Labyrinth City. You fucking dumb. Labyrinth. Yeah, that's that's what I use. For the lashes, it's Glamorous, by the way. Uh, her at is Drea's Lashes. I'll put it in the description box so you guys could see. She sent them to my peel box like a few days ago. Not a few. It was that she was the first person who ever sent me something to my peel box. 
do I finally look 17 with makeup? See, that's the thing. You see, most 17 year olds wear full faces of makeup really often so they look their age, right? But me, I don't, I don't really wear full faces of makeup. I don't know how to do makeup. Like, I don't know how to do makeup so I don't wear makeup, right? Well, I wear makeup but I wear like really natural. Like for makeup, I usually just put on like powder and like mascara and that's it or like bronzer. But that's it, like that's my makeup, so I look like a kid, right? I already have a baby face, but like it doesn't help at the fact that I don't use a full face of makeup. But I think I'm gonna start because this is the only way you guys recognize me as a freaking 17 year old. Actually, I'm still 16, but I will be a 17 year old. Okay, I'm gonna curl my hair, leave it on, and I'll do a time lapse just because I cannot be talking because I will literally like be here all day if I keep talking. <laughs> curls i always need to break them up but those are the curls i really like how my curling iron makes my curls they look so bomb look all right look at how bouncy they are i love them okay i don't know if you're supposed to put the hairspray on after you break them up oh my god i think you are okay there we go so they're all broken up now they're still kind of tight but that's just because the curl came out being a little bit tighter than i expected it to be this one up see this one's already dropping and then this one i don't know if i should put their spray on before or after i did it before right now and it looked good so and i did some um inward like towards my face and then i did some like away from my face and that way they don't like get off like together because you know when like you do curls and then they like all go into one big spiral so if you do into your face and like away from your face, it prevents that from happening. So now that I'm done with that, I need to like hurry up and like pick out a fit because if not, I'm going to be late. That's like a daily thing for me at this point, honestly. All right, so I came up with my fit. So I'm, oh my God, my battery's at two bars and I'm charging my other one. For my feet, I haven't done my toes yet, so I can't wear open toe shoes. So I'm gonna wear my new Vans. I've got new like blue Vans. I need to hurry up, dude. I'm always late. Like, it's not, like, I literally think, like, late is a personality trait, and it's not, and it's ugly, and I hate it, but I can't get rid of it. All right, so my fit is complete. I really like how my hair ended up turning out. I'm, like, not even. And then my, so my shirt is from Tilly's. My shorts are from Hollister. And then my Vans are from, I don't know. These were actually a gift. They were an early birthday gift. But, what y'all think about the fit? All right, we have to go now. Oh, also, I put on this smooth and shine oil on my hair so it could be a little bit shiny. Okay, so I need to put my lipstick in here. Hold up. All right, in my bag, I'm literally just putting my lipstick, my money, and I need my driver's license. My driver's license and my card. Oh, this lighting. There we go. All right, let's go. Oh my God, it is so hot in here. It's 103, so it's not as bad as the other days, but it's still pretty bad. All right, so I just made my reservation. <laughs> I had completely forgotten, but I was able to get one for 4 p.m. and it's 2.54, and I think it's like 35 minutes away from here if I drive fairly fast. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just got home from my little like birthday dinner. It's 6.59, so it's seven. Literally, I just have to like vlog in here before because i'm scared i'm gonna mess it up but look at the cutest thing that my friend made me look at this look at how cute that is it's like chocolate covered strawberries and then like flowers and it's a little tower and then up here 
That's so cute. <laughs> and then my other friend gave me this gift right here. I haven't opened it. I'll probably open it when I get home or till my birthday. I'm trying to take all this makeup off because it ain't it. Uh -huh. 